So what do you do when you're stuck between these beautiful snow-capped mountains in an amazing weather in the middle of nowhere without any network? You record a YouTube video. This video has been pending for a long time and a lot of you have been asking from me which is that tripod that I'm using these days. So let's talk about it in detail. What makes a tripod a good tripod? It has to be a great combination of built quality, stability, portability and versatility. So today I'm going to introduce you to the new Leo Photo Ranger LS365C. But before everything else, this is not a sponsored video. I received this from Leo Photo only for my personal usage and I have been using it for the last six months. I have used it in a variety of conditions, especially for birding, landscape and astro. And now I think it's time to discuss this cool piece of equipment at length. So let's get started. Let's talk about build quality. This tripod is constructed with 10 layer carbon fiber material, making it lightweight yet profoundly robust. This ensures considerable durability and stability during usage. It can easily take a load of 20 kilos and you don't have to worry about mounting your equipment and leaving it on this. I use it with my Sony uh, 400 2.8 G Master uh, with Alpha 1 and the entire setup is of course a lot less than half the total payload that it can carry but a lot of my fellow photographers have mounted their FX and EF mount primes along with flagship DSLRs from respective brands and there hasn't been a single complaint or issue with this tripod. Usage and functionality. Now there are times when I have to go really low on the ground and it has to be quick in order to make sure I get the shot because in wildlife every second matters and at that time the convenience in using the tripod is very important. So to open up the legs all I have to do is twist this best quarter inches and they open up very easily. This twist lock here is very swift. Now a lot of times we over loosen the legs of our tripod by twisting them too much which is problematic of course and this one with very slight rotation you can easily release the legs so be very gentle with the twist. So here the gripping is so nice that you can simply rotate all of them together. You can flatten it up to 3 inches from the ground. Besides this, the locks here are very easy to operate. It's a semi-automatic angle locking system. Pull it up and stretch it out. Now it will automatically lock itself when at a particular angle. This is locked. You don't have to lock it back. There is a standard 3x8 adapter stud so you can use it with any other ball head or gimbal head or any other attachment that you want to. Its spider is a total of 56 inches in diameter and made of 7075 aircraft grade aluminum. That's why the great durability and lightweight. These holes that you see here are to make sure that the base is stable but really lightweight for ease of convenience. I have seen uh, tripods which have a very thin last section. Now this does reduce the overall weight of the tripod but it compromises on stability and you cannot take that kind of a risk with lenses that expensive. This has a maximum leg diameter of 36 mm here and a minimum of 22 mm here which is a great balance between lightweight and stability. They have given this hook inside. It's a weight hook and you can either mount a small pouch with it or, or you can tie a bag to it for better stability. Now let me show you a very cool thing. This tripod comes with ice spikes so you can unmount uh, this uh, rubber foot here and mount the spikes over here. If you are traveling to the mountains and want to photograph anything in the snow or for that matter you want to add some stability in the sand, you can uh, mount the spikes and use an allen key to tighten them for better stability. Let's talk about portability. Now there is no center column so I can easily fold it this small and compact up to 48 centimeters. You can put it in your luggage or you can hang it on your camera bag, whatever but it is very easy to carry. It weighs about 1.7 kilos at best, which is very light for a tripod with a payload of 20 kg. The LS365C offers an impressive maximum height of 152 centimeters and a good minimum height of 7.9 centimeters, allowing for flexibility in different shooting scenarios. This was my feedback after using it for six months. And I'm going to record another video after an year or so and tell you if there are any changes in this. But overall, as for now, this tripod offers a great combination of build quality, stability, portability and versatility. It's a reliable option for photographers and videographers in this price range. And you should definitely consider adding it uh, to your kit. Still skeptical? Rent it out, use it and see for yourself. I have shared all the relevant details below.